Hey there students, I wanted to show you a little video on um, how to resize. Some of you had some questions on resizing so I thought I, well, I'll just kind of walk through it once again and show you how I would handle it. Some of you were asking questions about do we go to image, image size? And I'll kind of show you what would, what, what's going to happen if we do that. On this particular image, I'm going to go off of that first one that you were asked to resize your image to. So if we were to change this from 3 inches to 3 inches at 300 pixels per inch, and we say OK, that's basically going to change it down to a 3 inch by 3 inch window, but it's going to make our image look kind of squatty, so it kind of uh, compressed our image and that's not what we're looking for we don't want to distort the image we want to just try to capture a three inch by three inch area out of that um, out of our original so I'll hit command Z to get back out of that and I'm holding down spacebar command option to zoom back to where we can see it there's a couple of ways we could have handled this we could have um, created a new document, so we'll, we'll do that first. We could go File, New, and we could change this to 3 inches by 3 inches at 300. And I'm asking you to the color mode, be RGB color. And down here in Photoshop, if you're working in Photoshop, there's an advanced button, and this allows us to apply that uh, color profile that I was asking you to use, which is Adobe RGB 1998. So we can go ahead and get everything set up right here. We'll hit OK. So now we have the proper size. We can go back over to our image, and if we grab our Move tool, we're just going to click on this. And drag it up to our new folder, our new file. We're going to hold it there until we see it visible. And then I'm going to just come down here and drop it onto that 3 inch by 3 inch. And I'm going to hold down Shift. I'll just kind of show you this. So if I hold down Shift as I'm dragging it, and you'll notice I haven't let go of the image yet. By holding down Shift and let go, that's going to place that image right where we need to. Okay. So now our image is really large and we are going to need to scale it so we could right click and we can't right click. We're going to um, go up here to edit and we'll come down here to free transform which is command T. And then we'll just drag one of these corners and by dragging one of the corners um, we're constraining those proportions and by holding down option I'm able to scale from the center. And then we'll just click in here and move that around and that's about the best we're going to get for a 3 inch by 3 inch image. I'll use my right arrow key to bump it over a little bit. We'll hit enter or return. And that's how we could get it into a 3 inch by 3 inch format. That's one way. Okay. So I'm going to close that. Another way would be to go into that crop mode. And to get to the crop mode, we'll come over here. We'll click on the crop tool. C is the keyboard shortcut. And we're going to pull up here to this little tab. We're going to come down here and we want to change this size to resolution, size and resolution. And it's supposed to be 3 by 3 at 300. I'll hit OK. And now that has put our 3 inch, that's put that into a 3 inch by 3 inch. Uh, size and then I could just move my image within that window and basically what it's kind of cropped down to it's cropped down to that outside edge of the image okay 
And to accept this crop, I could hit enter or return. Or I can come right up here to this check mark and hit yes, we'll accept that. And now if I come up here to image, image size, I'll see that my image has been cropped to a 3 inch by 3 inch at 300 pixels per inch. Okay, And we'll notice that it basically threw away pixels in this image. So now our image size is 2.32 megabytes. And we'll see what the original image size is. Our original size is 97.9 megabytes. So uh, we have basically sized this down and um, gotten rid of quite a few pixels in this image. Okay, so our original size was 17.6 by 21.6. If you have found another way to resize down to uh, fulfill the assignment, uh, let me know and I'll try to do a tutorial on that. So uh, keep reading the assignments, keep watching the videos, and good luck with this week's project. I'll see you later.